All right. Shalom. All praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And this short video is going to be entitled, Some of These Images Be Going Off. Some of these images, or maybe I'll change it, brothers. Some of these images be going off. All right. And it's basically a lesson through the spirit. Um, <clears throat> I was having a talk with one of the brothers probably a couple of weeks ago now. Um, and I basically was telling him, you know, that uh, a lot of, see a lot of, not a lot, but I see a few images going around from the brothers. We was actually having a conversation about all these dope images that we see brothers, uh, you know, with the AI and the, the different uh, images that inspiring brothers to go into lessons and do videos. And I was telling them how, you know, but it seems like every so often you'll see Jake use an image that's going off. All right. So I'm going to show you a few images, exactly what I'm talking about. So in this first image, um, you see right here, and, and don't get me wrong. At the end of the day, we all, you know, we still learning. Brothers make mistakes. We don't always, you know, do everything wise as we should, but some things is just like, I don't know. I don't be understanding sometimes, but hey, just through the spirit of, you know, if you can receive it, receive it. If not, no big deal, whatever. Anyway, in this first image, you see this uh, Jake riding along in his car. And you notice like he got, it's supposed to be like the angels, you know, protecting them, surrounding them, whatever. It make you think about the Psalms. The angel of the Lord encampeth around, around about them that fear him, right? Except for one little issue. When you look at Jake, what do you notice? This dude is super lined up. You see? He's super lined up. His head is razor crispy lined up. His beard, his mustache, razor, super crispy, lined up. You know, and in the scriptures, when you read it, it's against that. Now, before we go on, let me grab one quick script. This is going to be Proverbs 27. <clears throat> now, I can't remember what it is. Just bear with me here and I can tell you momentarily. Um, yeah, so this is Proverbs 27, verse 23. It says, be diligent, be thou diligent to know the state of thy flocks. And look well to thy herds Those of us that are preachers and teachers We gotta, you know, look well And be diligent of what we giving the, the sheep to eat You know, what we giving the flock to eat As a matter of fact I have to make sure I type this in right now Before I forget So again, let's read that again This is uh, <clears throat> Proverbs 27, verse 23 Be thou diligent to know the state of thy flocks And look well to thy herds. Now, what does it say in a, in a translation? Let's look at it. It says, "Know the, from the NLT, know the state of your flocks and put your heart into caring for your herds. The NIV says, be sure you know the condition of your flocks. Give careful attention to your herds, right? So we don't want to preach a message, preach a message where we tell Jake that, you know, Getting a lineup is going off, and then here we go putting up an image with a damn lineup in it. I mean, what's the point? You know, I hope you can see it. This is one that I saw that you know I, I liked it when I saw it, and then I snapshot it. But then when I look at looked at it closer, I was like, you know what? I ain't gonna I ain't gonna use it because Jake got a damn lineup in the thing. Let's go real quick and show you what's wrong with that. That's in the scriptures, and it, and it's against the scriptures. This is Leviticus nineteen. Right now, somebody may say you you nitpicking. It's not nitpicking. It's not nitpicking. The scriptures say avoid all appearance of evil. This right here is Leviticus 19, 27. It says ye shall not round the corners of your heads. Neither shall thou mar the corners of thy beard. Plain and simple. Straight to the point. No holding back. This image is going off. Right? Whoever, whatever brother drew it. I don't know if any brother drew it or just found it someplace. But it's doggone going off. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you another one. This is one that I saw. And this is also dealing with hair. This is one that I've been seeing going around. And before we read it, let's get one other one. This is Proverbs 14. Right? Um, <clears throat> Proverbs 14 and 15. It says, The simple believeth every word, but the prudent man... Look as well to his going. Watch where you're going. Watch what you feed the sheep. Watch what you're doing. Right? Not so much the first part of the scripture, but the second part. Let's read it in the translation. 
It says uh, the NLT, only simpletons believe everything they're told. The prudent carefully consider their steps. And I'm going to tell you like this, before I make a video, before I use any image, I'm going to carefully look at it. I'm going to see what's in it, right? Now, I heard a brother say, I don't know if, if it was on a video or if a brother told me the other day, sometimes you'll see videos where men have your Howard Shaw looking old and your Howard Shaw is a young man, you know? So you have to be careful of that. Now, in this image, I don't know if this is supposed to be the most high or your Howard Shaw, but what do you notice about it? What do you notice about him? He got damn long hair, man. Look at his hair. Long hair looking like locks, almost like, almost like dreads in a way. Why would you, you know, and I'm, and I'm not getting on any brother that uses this because I got all of these I got from a brother's videos that they put up. But you got to be careful. Consider these images that you're using. Why are you going to put the most high? If it's supposed to be the most high, supposed to be your house shot. Why are you going to have them with long hair down their back? I mean, that's pretty much blatant. I can see if it was a thick afro. But why are their hair like flowing locks down, down their damn back and shoulders? Even if this is one of the angels, which I, I doubt it's an angel because he's holding the world in his hand. Right. So it's either the most high or your house shot. But why you got it? I mean, even if you didn't draw it, if you came across this image and you're going to use, you know, I know brothers be looking for new images because we make a lot of videos. You're looking for something fresh. But this is one that I wouldn't use. It jumped right out at me as soon as I saw it. And I've seen it at least twice. I've seen a brother use this at least twice. Different brothers. <clears throat> it don't it don't need to be said who it was. If you see it, you know, and you, and you had a video using this image, at least consider what I'm saying. The spirit, you know, prompted me to do the video. I've been thinking about it for a couple of weeks. Now here's the video. So at least consider it. But this is going off. Why is it going off? Let's leave from here. Let's go to. This is now. First Corinthians 11 and 14, it says, does not even nature itself teach you that if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him. <laughs> right. A man have long hair. And, then, and we teach that. We get on IUIC about the dreadlocks. We get on the other, other, uh, other Israelite groups about having men in their they camps with the damn dreads and long hair down their backs. It's, it's one of the most fucking feminine things you can almost do as an Israelite. As an Israelite man walking around in the earth with your hair down your damn back. And then here you go. Using the image with the most high with long hair. Like I said in the title. Some of these images be going off. Alright. Just bottom line. And I got one more here. Before we go to, to it though. Let's um look at this in a translation. <clears throat> the NLT. Listen to this. Isn't it obvious that it's disgraceful for a man to have long hair? <laughs> the answer is yes. And Jake always raised up them issues, them, them questions. Well, did it, you know, Samuel and Samson, weren't they Nazarites? But just, just because they were Nazarites don't mean they have us down their back. It doesn't mean that. Wouldn't they not have had a, what would they have happened first? Would they have a damn afro first or they had their hair down their back like a woman? What do you think? Even when it comes to Absalom, you mean to tell me you think that a big afro wouldn't get caught in the trees? The answer is yes, it would. And when you see the word locks, it don't always mean dreadlocks. A beard can have locks. That's, that's Jake being simple, you know. Let's read another one. This is NIV. Does not the very nature of things teach you that if a man has long hair, it is a disgrace to him? Yeah, it's a disgrace for a man to have long hair like a damn woman, man. Bottom line, all right? And the scriptures tell us to do what? <clears throat> Let's read it. This is Colossians 4. So the, young, the older brothers are supposed to look out for the younger brothers. And those that are younger brothers, look out for those that's coming into the truth. Don't, we really shouldn't, you know, you have to watch the images that you use because these people, I mean, images are powerful. You ever heard the expression, a picture is worth a thousand words? The answer is yes. This is Colossians 4 and 5. Walk in wisdom toward them that are without. You walk in wisdom toward them that don't, don't have wisdom. These new sheep, you know, Israelites is gullible as shit. They believe anything. If you teach one thing and then you got images in the Jake just think they could do everything they want to do. And you can't do everything you want to do. Colossians 4 and 5, walk in wisdom toward them that are without, redeeming the time, right? A translation says what? Let's see it. NLT, live wisely among those who are not believers and make the most of every opportunity, which I don't like that as much because we don't care nothing about those that are not believers. NIV, be wise in the way 
you act toward outsiders. Make the most of every opportunity. And that's a little bit better because those that are, uh, you know, they don't have the wisdom, they may not be outsiders, but they may be on the outside looking in, preparing to come in. All right. Now, the last one I got, I got another image here. This one is fire. I really like the image. You see your Jake with the golden, you know, with the golden cup. Got the menorahs with the seven candles, right? Got some wine, got some, you know, some food there or whatever. But if you look closely, look back there in the window. What do you see? Look back here. That's what you see. Now, some people argue that this is the shield of David. Others argue that it's the star of Rim fan. I'm going to say unequivocally, we don't know for sure what the star of Rim fan is. Neither do we know for, for sure what the shield of David is. But, the, you know, because the apostles used to have the so-called shield of David on some garments. You see certain brothers with it on chains or whatever. But then the controversy arose. So therefore we said, well, you know what? If you had an issue with it, the apostle said, if you got an issue with it, don't wear it. So instead of making a con, you know, you have Jason going to a list about the star of real fan, brother. You don't know what it is. You wasn't back there. You don't know what this shit of David looked like. You wasn't back there. But just in case, just in case, you should probably not use it. You just don't use it, I would say. Right? I've never had one. and I wouldn't put it on, on the video that I do. Oh, you know what? I take that back. It was on the video that I did before. You know? But we got to be wise as serpents, harmless as doves. You got to remember. Now, if you look up the Star of Ren fan, you will see that, that symbol, but you see a whole bunch of other symbols. You mean to tell me the Star of Ren fan is all of these? No. It's because nobody really knows for sure 100% what it is. You know, you have Jake say they know what it is, but they don't. You don't know for sure. Even though these people say that it, this is what it is. But this image right here, the so-called Star of David, and then this one in the middle, they ain't even the same, and they calling them both that. You see? So you're going to see different, you know, uh, different images of what they say that it is, but you can easily see the reason why you shouldn't use it because there's too much controversy behind it. So if I was making a video, and I make a lot of videos, and I saw this image on the video that I was going to make, I wouldn't use it just to keep, you know, just keep the, um, if I was going to use it, you know what I would do? I would mark that out. And you can do it. If you hit edit, all right, this is what I would do. And this, and I do it often. You go and you get a marker and you choose the one you want. And then I just mark over it. That's all. That's all I would do. Then I say done when I'm done. Now look what I got. Now I use it. Or I may use another, you know, lighter color to blend in with the background. That's all. Just a few minutes. A few seconds of thought. That's all it takes. So be mindful, brothers. A lot of these images be going off. And I think that might be it. I'm all I'm going to say on it, you know. That's all I'm going to say on it. Um, just meant to be a quick video. That's all. All right. So remember what you've seen and what you heard here. A lot of these images be going off. That one was going off. What else? This one right here was going off. The long hair. I particularly don't like it. And this one was going off, but look, we've corrected it. See? And at the end of the day, like I said, you could use a lighter color. I done kind of messed it up now, actually, but it ain't really messed up. It's just showing a Jake in medieval times with a dog on Afro, which really he would be an Israelite, right? From the medieval ages or the, from the, you know, whenever it was. All right, so be mindful of the images you use. A lot of these be going off.